There really hasn't been a quick and easy series about math notes on YouTube so far, so I thought I'm gonna make a series about all the math notes in Blender. So the modular node mathematically is the remainder of a division. For example, 9 mod 4 would result in 1. Why? When we start fitting 4s into 9, we can fit 2 of them, right? But we don't have any more room to add 4s, so the remaining space is 1. 9 mod 3 equals 0 because we can easily fill the number 9 with 3 trees and there is no remaining space at all. This also works with not whole numbers, like for example 1 mod 0 0.4 equals 0 0.2 because we can fit the first 0 0.4, then the second one it's 0 0.8 and there is no more room for 0 0.4, we can get the remainder which is 0 0.2. So how can we use this in Blender? This material here represents math functions graphically. So as you see the modulo creates a sawtooth like pattern, it's very sharp, it's very nasty. With modulo we can create sharp repeating patterns, or usually this is the reason why modulo is used. So I can show you two examples. The first one is creating a procedural wood material. Delete this principal shader and every procedural material starts with texture coordinates. Put the output here and now let's use a vector math node and let's set it to length. Now this outputs the length of the vectors. As you see in the center they are shorter and darker and in the outside or this border here they are getting longer and therefore brighter. We can use the modular node math modulo first set it to 1. So where is the remainder of this module operation gonna be 0? As you see, the dark black line comes from here, so this means that the remainder is zero here, and this is the exact location where the length uh, equals one unit, because you see, the plane has a scale of one, 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 uh, so this means that from here to there, this is one blender unit. Uh, for example, when I input here uh, 0. 5, then we have two of these. In the middle, here it's 0, and here it's 0 0.5, and 0 0.5 divided by 0 0.5 is, uh, we can fit exactly one 0 0.5 there, the remainder is 0. And here it, the remainder is also 0, because we can fit exactly two 0 0.5s into 1, which is the number here. So when we make this smaller, I think you can understand that we have more and more circles up to the infinity basically. And we can use this to create a procedural wood trunk. So now we want to add some randomness, and if you want something to be random, you're gonna add a noise texture. Let's use the same object coordinates, because it has to be mapped in a way. If it isn't mapped, it's just gonna use the generated coordinates. But we're gonna use the object ones, and we're gonna mix it with the original coordinates going into the length without any modification, they look like that. I'm gonna actually swap these. So this is the original coordinates here, and this is uh, when we start to add some noise to them. And let's see how it affects our modulo. Completely symmetrical, beautiful lines, and when we start doing that, we get something that looks like a distorted thing. And the trees are not so distorted, so I'm gonna get the scale down to one. Now let's apply this material to something that looks more like a trunk. Now you see it looks like a piece of wood, right? It's a bit dark because the increment is so like small, it cannot get up to one before it actually gets to zero again. And if you make this smaller, you can see how it works. Like it gets darker and darker. And the easy fix is just to use a uh, multiply afterwards and multiply it by 10. It looks like a fine piece of wood, right? If you are into some more artistic things, then I can show you a project I worked on, and this was done using an icosphere and a modulo. So you see, right now the modulo creates uh, different patterns here, and that's because it's not a sphere, it has some uh, sides or some points that are further away from the center than the others. Somewhere it's gonna be equal to zero, the remainder, somewhere it's gonna be like one, and this creates these patterns. And if I add a subdivision surface modifier, for example like two, I have to tweak this, then I have patterns like that, and it's quite cool, you know. So this is how I created this image, and this is how Modulo works. And that's how you use a Modulo or Modulo, 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 I hate American English. If you want to see an explanation of a specific note, the comment section is all yours. And personally, I'm going to go and cook something tasty right now, it's lunchtime.